Hi there, this is a uh, work in progress video. Uh, I've been thinking about the uh, age of magic. Um, there's still a lot of uncertainty about what's actually going to happen, but uh, a few thoughts. Uh, I uh, played Warhammer Fantasy 8th edition a lot, and uh, I played some uh, Age of Sigmar, uh, some Kings of War as well, so I've got plenty of um, fancy figures lying around. I've also got a lot of historical uh, war bands now, probably more than uh, I'll ever need. So I'm just thinking about how I could uh, make a um, fantasy uh, war band. So um, there's a few things that we know. We know that there's going to be uh, monsters available, kind of like small groups of monsters. So what I'm thinking, uh, I'm going back to my kind of my first love in fantasy, which are uh, goblins, especially night goblins. So uh, I think the kind of a natural thing to go to is uh, just the normal little river trolls from Games Workshop. Uh, depending on how the big monsters look, I've got a Forge World uh, Colossal Squig here. Um, I haven't really used him for any other other games. I use him as a giant in uh, King's War, that's why he's in the square base. Just your normal warriors. I'm thinking about using the standard uh, um, standard night goblins. Uh, probably going to paint these up a little bit better. Maybe add some highlights because these were kind of the first army I did when I got back into uh, fantasy. Um, as my uh, warlord, I've been kind of waiting to use this particular model for quite some time. This is from Forge World. I've uh, just cut off the little tabs. I still need to... Uh, I've uh, blue tacked him, so that's why he's kind of a ramshackle. But uh, he still has the release agent from the mold from Forge World, so I, I need to clean him up and uh, before I prime him. But uh, it's kind of one of these uh, models that I've wanted to use for quite some time, and I think it would be quite fun to do in the Age of Magic. Uh, finally, for the Hearth Guard, um, I've had this idea uh, to use the um, Blood Bowl miniatures so the goblins for them uh, I originally bought them because I thought I was gonna play some blood ball but uh, never really got around to it so now I've got a box of goblins sitting there unused and they're actually quite armored which is perfect for hearth guard models so a little bit of modification this is a, a quick one I, I glued together just added a shield he's kind of got a uh, come at me um, Pose. so this one's pretty cool some of them don't quite work but uh, there's 12 in the box and I only need eight so that's gonna be fine uh, finally I've got my old old warlord um, probably gonna keep him on this base uh, I think this is probably the third time I've rebased him from uh, square base to age of Sigmar uh, back to Kings of War basing and then uh, Age of Sigmar again, so uh, this guy's uh, just a standard uh, plastic one that came with the, uh, I think, 7th edition uh, box set for Warhammer Fantasy. So uh, lots of little models lying around which I can use. Uh, it's going to be fun to explore um, and see what, uh, what you can get up with. Uh, also, it gives you a really nice chance to just kind of uh, go, go, go to town and uh, not worry about the historical part and just uh, let your imagination run free. Um, for levies, I'm kind of imagining it's, it's going to be relatively the same. This might be completely incorrect, but we'll see anyway. I've got some uh, night goblins with bows um, in this box somewhere. Um, so yeah, they'll be my levy. Uh, one danger is they might look a little bit too similar to the, um, to the warriors, but I'll see how I can get around that um, somehow. But it uh, should be a fun little project. It's nice to paint uh, some vivid colors after you're doing the historical ranges. Um, but uh, overall, looking forward to this. Should, uh, I should start putting everything together over the, the Christmas break, uh, New Year's break. And then uh, we'll, start, we'll start painting. Hopefully everything will be finished in time for when it gets released. I think at the moment it's looking around somewhere in quarter one. But... Uh, We'll see what eventually happens. Thanks for watching. Um, let me know what your plans are for uh, upcoming Age Magic. And uh, I look forward to seeing uh, all this creative energy being unleashed for this new uh, era rulebook. Goodbye.